I remember meeting my boyfriend on June 1st, 2019, in the lobby of Colossal Con. When I met him, I was in a dark place, and I didn't want to leave my hotel room. A friend of mine told me to go out and get dressed and enjoy the con instead of being in my room crying. Which I eventually did. However, I was wandering the con aimlessly, blank empty. I was broken. I had no life in my eyes underneath the white mesh contacts of my Hinata cosplay. My makeup was already ruined and I didn't even care at that point. After getting the news of that person's passing, I just, I didn't know what to make of myself. I just, I felt as if I couldn't go on. I, I remember collapsing to the ground in a puddle of tears. It was near the autograph section. Um, my friend Amanda found me and she held me close and I just sobbed and cried. She got me some food and got me some water to drink because I told her that I hadn't eaten that day. How could I? I just felt like my world just shattered just a couple of hours ago because I just got the news at around 3 a.m. that night. Amanda, her friend, and her boyfriend, they invited me to go to their hotel room so I could cry and get out of my cosplay and just relax but but I declined <laughs> I told them that I just wanted to go back to my own room because I was done for the day in fact I was just done I didn't want to be here any longer I walked through the hall, making my way to the giant staircase to possibly make the biggest mistake of my entire life. End it. Why did it matter? He took his. Why does it matter if I do the same? I didn't care. Why? Why did he leave? Why couldn't I have done something, anything. Why? <sighs> I continued to the staircase. At this point, at this point, it might as well have been the staircase to heaven. But, I know that's not where I'm going. Then, from the corner of my eye, I saw a table doing magic card tricks and tarot card readings. I decided to just stop and check it out. I might as well have, right? I've been studying tarot for a while and only could do a simple spread. But I guess that little spread is what brought him to me. I stayed to watch the magic tricks, which was able to make me giggle a bit. For a second, I was able to forget why I was sad. Then I checked out the tarot card reading booth, and I decided to get a reading myself. It wasn't that accurate, but they did know that I had lost someone. I don't think it was that hard to read from my body language and my face, though since my makeup was already ruined. I had already pulled off the fake eyelashes, so it wasn't even like I was trying. After my reading, I sat with the two men who ran the booth. They were actually surprised of my knowledge of the major and minor arcana, especially since it's been only a short time since I've been learning them. And then, all of a sudden... <laughs> Hey, we've been sitting at this table all day and haven't eaten yet. 
Do you mind? I thought I had already known what was going to happen. My assumption was that they were going to give me some money, tell me what they wanted to eat, and then ask me to go get it for them. That's what I thought because it would make sense since if I were them, I wouldn't want to leave my table. But I was wrong. This is what actually happened. Taking over the table for us while we get something to eat? We what? Thank you so much. We'll be back after lunch! Next thing I know, I'm alone at the table with tarot cards in front of me and all lines starting to form. <sighs> How was I expected to perform card readings using cards that weren't mine to begin with? At that point, I had to purify them with my own energy. The only spread that I knew was the basic past life spread, and I've been practicing it for a couple months back then. I knew that tarot card readings alone attracted a lot of people. Well, that, and I have this uncanny ability to attract a crowd. Um, it's a gift and a curse, but that's a story for another day. A line started to form for my readings. It was fun, and for a moment, I forgot why I was sad. It started to quiet down for a bit, and I was able to rest for just a split second. But I thought, hey, I can go on for a little bit longer. I looked up, and I saw a person dressed as... Link? <laughs> I knew who Link was, but I hadn't played Breath of the Wild, so I was unfamiliar with the story behind Gorito Village. I decided to keep on going, because these readings were the only things keeping me from falling back into my depression. Hey there! I called out. Would you like a reading? He walked over to me, stood behind the person who was just finished with their reading, and then took a seat. He looked right at me, and I tried my best to look into his eyes. But it was difficult with my Hinata contact lenses. Hi, uh... So... Ma... Uh... uh what are your pronouns? I asked bashfully. He was... He was very beautiful from what I could see. I couldn't tell if he was just a beautiful boy or a handsome girl. He him. He replied. Ah, so he's just a beautiful boy. May I ask your name? E. Uh, what? I asked, confused. E. E? E. Like the letter? Yes. How is that spelled? E-I. Okay then, E. Let's begin. I shuffled the cards and started on his reading. Granted, I won't tell you what it said, but he agreed that it was pretty accurate. Did you enjoy your reading? I asked. Yeah, thanks. Actually, here's my card. Oh, uh, okay. I'll follow you on Instagram. We exchanged Instagrams before I moved on to the next person in line for a reading. I won't go into detail about his reading, but I did read that earlier this year wasn't easy for him and that he was underappreciated, but that towards the end of the year, that he'll be happy, and that he'll find someone who truly does appreciate him. Not once did I ever think, or even imply, that that, that person was going to be me. After that, we didn't speak for exactly one month. Until one day, he replied to my story on Instagram. What? So much for watching, and special thanks to Reheard Sean for being a gold finch on my channel. If you would like a shout out on my channel, please think about being a patron on my Patreon. Thank you so much for all your support throughout the years. I love you guys so much.